Hello, everyone. Welcome to StrapiConf 2023. Thank you for attending this yearly conference that brings together thousands of people from all over the world. Last year, we had people joining from more than 100 countries, which shows how diverse and international this Strapi community really is. Speaking of that, where are you joining from? Please say hello and post your location in the chat. Today, we are going to talk about how Strapi evolved since the last Strapi Conf. And even more importantly, how you can leverage Strapi to supercharge content collaboration between developers and content editors. It's truly humbling to see how much Strapi has grown over the past few years. To give you a few numbers, the project reached over 50,000 stars on GitHub, nearly 900 contributors, and more than 10 million downloads. As a community, we achieved so much over the past 12 months. And StrapiConf is an amazing opportunity to celebrate this together. In addition to the hundreds of announcements and bug fixes, we introduced major features in Strapi, including dark mode. Use Strapi with your favorite design, light or dark, you decide. Custom field, add any types of field to your project. Whether it is a Google Maps field, a color picker, or Shopify field. Logo customization. Replace the Stripey logo with yours, so the CMS reflects your own brand. Media library folders. To simplify your assets organization. Relations reordering. Easily change the order of relations using drag and drop. Audit logs. To ensure security, compliance, and transparency for enterprise. World-based access control for free. The custom roles and permissions feature previously included in enterprise plans is now available for everyone for free in the community edition. Private A3 buckets support for higher data security and compliance. On top of all of these features, we introduced a brand new product so many of you were waiting for, Strapi Cloud. Before we get into the latest product updates and announcements, I would like to take you a few minutes to acknowledge amazing people and companies that are making the Strapi community better every day. First, I would like to thank all of the plugin developers who are contributing to Strapi Market and making Strapi the most customizable headless CMS. We've had more than 150 plugin and provider submissions and 500,000 downloads over the last 12 months. By the way, if you have built a Strapi plugin, think about sharing it. It is extremely valuable for the rest of the community. We want to give a special shout out to community plugin developers, such as Matt Milburn, who has already developed five plugins, such as Menus and Preview Button, that average 5,000 downloads per week. It's really amazing to see innovative companies, such as Mux, Localize, Maily Search, CK Source, and Lotifiles develop and maintain official Stripey plugins. Beyond tech partners and plugin developers, we also want to thank our agency partners, which are playing a big role in making sure our customers get the most value out of Stripey. Today, you'll get a chance to hear the lessons learned and best practices from customers and agency partners, including Obash consolidated more than 10 brand websites and two mobile applications into a single platform powered by Strapi. You will also find out how Tesco rationalized their application portfolio, shortened release cycle by 50%, and streamlined communication across 24 channels with Strapi and Virtuslab. DFX5 will explain you how they reinvented Banco BHG's customer experience with Strapi, Angular, and AWS. Finally, you will learn from Notum, who helped more than 10 customers migrate from Stripe v3 to Stripe v4. You will also hear and get to network with amazing community leaders and stars who are sharing their knowledge and positive energy. People such as Cameron, who built an awesome breakout Easter egg on our docs website, Artcoded, who created a full Udemy course, or Tricia, who is emceeing one of the tracks today. Last but not least, I'd like to give a big shout out to the Stripey team. We are now 80 Stripeyers all over the world 
who work 100% remotely with zero offices from 15 countries for a total of 20 nationalities on one single mission, empower millions of people to manage any contents anywhere. None of this would have been possible without all of you. Thank you very much, everyone, for all of your contributions. Serpy has changed a lot over the past few months. Yet, we're still at the very beginning of the story we are writing together. Headless CMSs were invented because traditional content management systems were not compatible with new platforms such as mobile or IoT applications. And because we, as developers, wanted to use modern front-end frameworks to build performance websites faster with a much better developer experience. With the rise of frameworks like Next.js and the growing number of communication channels, it is evident that headless is the future of content management. However, despite all of the benefits and better developer experience, it came at a price for the content editors who kind of lost their heads, pun intended, in the process. There are two reasons for this. The first one is that the editing experience is kind of broken. The front end is separated from the CMS. As a result, editing and previewing contents became harder. The second issue is about collaboration. As content becomes critical for companies, it also becomes increasingly complex and requires advanced collaboration capability. We already started solving the spin points. Please welcome Emily, head of product, who will tell you more about what we are doing to improve both the developer and the content editing experience. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Pierre, for this introduction. And thank you all for being here. I'm grateful for the opportunity to connect and share some products inside with all of you today. Before we reveal upcoming features, I'd like to take a step back and talk about the data management system released in the latest Trapi versions. It enables developers to quickly and securely move data between Strapi instances. Here is a quick demo. Hi, I'm Christian, a full stack engineer at Strapi. And apart from my work, I also assist my family in their bakery. A bakery that has grown a lot over the last few years, and it's now time to build an application to ease the order taking process for the bakers. So we've created the perfect UI on top of a Strapi backend. And as we were tight on budget and time, our backup strategy was made using the new data export feature and the Strapi current jobs. This feature allows exporting the data from a Strapi instance as an encrypted and compressed file with all your content, configurations, files, and schemas. And it's actually pretty customizable. So in case you don't want to compress or encrypt the output file, you can specify it, along with what will be included in the export archive. For example, having the possibility to export only the content or to exclude the content and export the rest. And then you can import back everything you exported by executing the import command. But let's get our hands dirty and put this into practice within our pastry project. All right, and as you can see, I've got my project running already that has some clients and uh, some orders uh, that are cakes with some fillings, some toppings, and uh, we will create our backup file for this. And for that, we use our yarn strapi export command with no encryption, no compression, and we are going to call our output file strapi-conf export. Wait a few seconds, and there we go, strapi-conf export.tar. And now some crazy guys going to delete everything we have. Oh no. What are we gonna do now? Oh, how lucky we are that we have our JarnStrapi import command and we just have to specify our backup file. And there we go. In a few seconds, after some confirmations, we have all our data back. How cool is that? We have our clients and we have our orders. So, to implement our backup strategy for the pastry, we just have to use the data transfer package and the current job. Let's dive in. First, let's see how data transfer works. It's actually really simple. It's composed by a source provider and a destination provider, both connecting through a transfer engine. In our case, the source provider is our local Strapi instance and our destination provider is a file. Both providers come by default from the data transfer package. Now, if we put this together in a function 
connected to a small script that loads files to DigitalOcean spaces, and we create a cron job that will be executed every day at 12 am, we get a fully functional backup strategy. So, to recap, we have the perfect solution for the problem the bakery had. However, on the first day in production, the bakers discovered a bug. But the good news was that it only took us a few minutes to fix the problem. First, we fixed the frontend that was sending mixed data to the backend. But then we had to fix all the corrupted data, and for that, again, we could make good use of the data transfer feature. We could pull the data from the production environment in a Strapi cloud to a development environment locally, then run a script in the bootstrap function that fixes the corrupted data, and finally push the data back to Strapi cloud once we check everything is right. And for that, we need a transfer token to be authorized from our command line. Let's create it. Well, here I've got my Strapi cloud instance running, my production environment, and we are going to create the transfer token. We are going to give it full access. So we call it full access during seven days and full access. We save it and here we have it. So now if I go to my local environment, here it is, it's empty. I don't have any data, but I can pull it from production with the yarn strapi transfer from, we copy this URL and we specify the from token and we copy the token. We will say the dash dash force to avoid it asking any type of questions and there we go we should have all our data that's it this is the production data <clears throat> and now we just have to run this script that i have here and comment it and as you can see the topping is pasty grim and filling is caramel and now topping is caramel filling is pasty grim there we go we have our data back so we execute yarn, strapi transfer, and now we put two. We copy our URL again to token, copy the token, and again, dash dash force. And as we only want to push the content, we can put only content. We execute it and here we go. Wait a few seconds and we should have all our data fixed in production. All right, so we're done. And now if we go to production and we go to the content manager, we have all our content back as it should be. The topping is the caramel, the filling is the pastry cream. Problem fixed. You can now embrace the power and potential of the new data import and export feature to migrate your content across environments and projects. In the future, we will build upon this system to streamline the migration of data from self-hosted to Strapi cloud projects or migration from other CMSs to Strapi. Now, I am pleased to announce that this week we are releasing Strapi v4.11 with exciting new features for both developers and content managers. The first one is better TypeScript support. Starting with Strapi version 4.3, developers gained the ability to create and manage Strapi projects using TypeScript. However, our goal now is to radically improve TypeScript support within Strapi by incorporating a wider range of types. One of our main objectives is to enhance how schema types are generated within Strapi. In version 4.11, we are introducing an exciting new feature that automates the process of generating schema types. This feature allows developers to quickly and easily generate and update their type definitions based on their application's code and structure. With this automated schema type generation feature, developers can rest assured that their types will remain accurate and up-to-date as their content structure evolves over time. 
This will ultimately help streamline the development process and reduce the risk of errors and inconsistencies that can arise when manually updating schema types. As part of our effort to enhance TypeScript support in Strapi, we aim to provide type definitions for the essential building blocks that users interact with while using Strapi. These building blocks will include core factories, entity services API, plugin API, and will gradually cover all the Strapi code base. By providing detailed and accurate types for these building blocks, we aim to simplify the development process and make it easier for developers to build robust, maintainable applications with Strapi. This will enable users to leverage TypeScript's type checking capabilities more effectively and reduce the risk of errors and inconsistencies in their code. The second feature we're releasing this week is bulk actions. We know that managing content entries individually can be painful and time consuming. So we are thrilled to announce that content managers can now easily publish or unpublish several entries at the same time. And soon, you will also be able to do the same with entries creation and editions, saving your team a lot of time in the process. The last feature is review workflows, a highly requested feature now available in Strapi Enterprise and Strapi Cloud Team Plan. This feature allows content teams to easily create, visualize, and manage review stages for your content, thus enabling greater collaboration and control over the entire content lifecycle. Once configured in the settings, review workflows are available in the Content Manager and the Content Types Builder, and can be easily reordered, color-coded, and soon assigned to admin users. Throughout these review steps, everyone knows exactly what needs to happen next and who is responsible for ensuring that content is published with confidence quickly. Thank you so much, Emily. Bulk actions and review workflows are bringing the content editing experience to the next level when it comes to managing large applications and websites. On the other hand, the data management and advanced TypeScript support are game changers in terms of developer experience. And this is just the beginning. Over the next few months, we will continue to improve the editing experience by replacing the default Markdown editor with a modern and friendly rich text editor. The new editor will offer a smooth, comfortable, and intuitive experience with the ability to create links to other entries. The next step will be to tighten the integration between the front end and the CMS. We will release a powerful SDK based on TypeScript, which will allow you to have previews in real time. We will leverage the power of front-end and Strapi components with the help of dynamic zones to create total consistency between the front-end and the CMS. Finally, it will be possible to embed the Strapi admin panel inside your front-end application, so you can both edit the contents and preview it in one place simultaneously. We will make the contents enter new dimensions. You will have the ability to edit the draft of an entry while the same entry is already published. You will have the option to create variants so you can display different contents depending on the device or A-B tested. You will be able to add comments through the update history and even schedule content publication through releases. Before we wrap up this keynote, we have some additional news to share with you regarding Strapi Cloud. Aurélien, the floor is yours. Hi everyone. I hope you're all enjoying the conference. I'm so excited to talk about the new product we launched earlier this year, Strapi Cloud. Our unique ambition with Strapi Cloud is to provide the easiest way to use Strapi in production. Our platform as a service combines the unique customization capabilities of Strapi with the user-friendly experience of a software as a service. Now, developers and content managers can finally agree on one seamless solution. Get ready to reshape your developer experience. We design it to make deployment a breeze. You don't need any DevOps skills to use it, and it easily integrates into your existing workflows. 
With Trapi Cloud, you can start your project locally, extend it with plugins or custom code, version it through Git, and deploy it in seconds. It's the ultimate solution for hassle-free development. And the numbers speak for themselves. More than 500 beta testers during the development phase, and 6,000 users since we launched it in March. 99 or 99% of time so far, and hundreds of customers are already using Swapi in production. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about what's coming. Today, I'm thrilled to introduce Trapi Cloud General Availability. It's been almost a year since we launched the alpha version of our platform. And we are proud to announce that it's not stable and secure for everyone to use. And that's not all. We also added some amazing new features that we can't wait to share with you today. Custom domains. We have been listening to your feedback and we are excited to announce a new feature that many of you have been asking for. The ability to use a custom domain for your CMS. It's easy to set up. Just configure the CNAME DNS record on the cloud settings page and your application will be accessible through your custom domain instantly. Regions. Up until now, all our infrastructure has been hosted in the United States. But starting today, you can also host your project, data and assets in Europe. We understand how crucial it is for customers to be GDPR compliant. That's why we are offering this new capability to serve you better. We are committed to rolling out more regions in the near future without compromising the security and stability of our platform. Custom plans. Since we first launched our public tiers pro and team, we received tons of requests for a more customizable plan that gives you total control over your limitations and additional features or services. Do you want to adjust the number of seats, entries, or API requests? No problem. Do you need more storage or bandwidth? You got it. Our new custom tiers is designed to perfectly fit your needs, giving you the flexibility you have been asking for. Are we done with the announcements? Not yet, there is more. This year, we have a fantastic roadmap lined up for you. Our focus is on enabling flexibility and smooth collaboration, ensuring you enjoy an hassle free experience with Trapi. We are dedicated to making sure that nothing stands in the way of your success. Here's what you should expect in the next months. Shared projects. Collaboration is key when it comes to building a website or mobile app, but our current implementation limits the number of developers who can work on the same project on Swapi Cloud. We are working on a solution to fix that limitation. Soon, we will provide an easy way to share your project between accounts, allowing multiple developers to collaborate seamlessly on the same project. Environments. We also know that crafting and launching a successful product is a process that demands rigorous testing and QA. We understand how crucial it is for teams, especially in regulated industries, to avoid costly mistakes. That's why we will add environments that allow you to experiment with your project, test your changes, and carry out QA in a safe and isolated space before going live without any additional cost to you. Git providers. Last but not least, we are delighted to announce that in the near future, Strapi Cloud will no longer be limited to GitHub. While GitHub has been a convenient provider for many, we understand the importance of choice and flexibility, which is why we will be adding support for additional providers, such as GitLab and Bitbucket. Other features, such as auto-scaling, product-level backups, and organization will be available this year. Stay tuned for more information and have a great conference. This is extremely exciting. Thank you so much, Aurélien. We hoped you all enjoyed this announcement. Stay online for the amazing sessions that are starting in a few minutes. You will learn how to use ChatGPT with DALI for mass content creation, how to build a plugin with configuration, how to use TypeScript in Strapi, and more. Thank you to all the speakers for sharing their experience and Strapi knowledge with us today. I also want to thank all the sponsors for their support and contribution to making this event a success. Please feel free to visit their booth on Discord to learn more about how you can use their products and services together with Strapi. Thanks again for being part of this Strapi community. We are super grateful for all of your contributions and we look forward to answering your questions during our live Ask Me Anything with this Trapeze team.